G'day guys, Grant from Four Wheeling in New South Wales. Just another quick video for our product spotlight info segment. What are we looking at today? We're checking out the Drifter recovery bag kit. I'll put the details below in the description with all the bits and pieces and a link to the Drifter website. It's an awesome bit of gear. It's a clear top Drifter bag made up in the factory in Gloucester. Aussie made bag with Australian canvas. Clear top so you can see all the bits and pieces in there and a good big sturdy YKK zipper, renowned for being quality stuff. So let's rip it open and we'll have a look what's inside and I'll let you know what I think. Now I believe these are all recovery products that are made up in the factory in Gloucester or made for Drifter here in Australia. I'll put the details below as I said, but from what I understand, it is an American made maybe uh, poly rope, what is often referred to as Dyneema rope. I think Dyneema being a brand, so it's nylon or synthetic rope, which is very typical nowadays for all your winches. Yeah, they are made by Drifter, so I'll, I'll get everything out anyway, and I'll run through what's in the bag. That's a, that's a big bugger. Alrighty, so really sturdy good quality drifter bag made in the factory up there in Gloucester little marine carpet base in it with a little storage pocket inside there to put your bits and pieces in so straight up hands down winner the bags are sensational I've got a, a number of them at home and I can't rave enough about them they are fantastic bit of gear in the bag you've got your drifter winch ring so instead of your traditional pulley block which are a bit of a pain sometimes to get your your ropes and um, cable through if you're using the metal cables as opposed to synthetic winch rope they use these for basically halving the load on the winch so it doesn't make your winch stronger or more powerful but it halves the load by going from your vehicle up and around that and back to your vehicle uh, often they call it a, a double pull so instead of just having your winch go from the winch to a tree and pulling up to the tree you put that in the line so that the winch rope would actually go up and around that and back and hooks onto your vehicle so that'll halve the weight so they're made in australia by levels uh, the people that do the springs obviously made under license for drifter so obviously it's got their signage and a bit of writing and that on there look pretty cool anodized not a lot of weight in it it's actually quite light so good for getting out of recoveries with heavier vehicles or if you're on a quite a steep incline so that's in the bag that just goes in that little pocket inside then you've got a nice bright yellow 10 meter winch extension rope so if your winch is not long enough to go to your winching point if you don't have a lot of trees around or you need to just lengthen that for some reason that's your extension rope again made by drifter that's rated to 9.4 ton and that's a good nine and a half mil thick rope so really really good length that one then you've got that's a 20 ton three metre long bridle. I'll put an overlay anyway, but as you can see there, that's got your two recovery points there. Goes up and around your strap. And what that does is it basically evens the load out between your two recovery points. So instead of pulling the entire vehicle weight off one side, it's going between the two. So it spreads the load out. Sometimes it's beneficial too, depending on which way you need to pull your vehicle out of a pickle. We've got a 20 ton soft shackle. Now these are fantastic in that Traditionally, the only way you could put something around your recovery point was the old D-shackles, which still work. They, they are a really tried and proven way of doing recoveries, but obviously they're heavy. Sometimes if you're bogged in mud or deep water, it takes a bit of playing around. You've got to unscrew your D-shackle, hook it through your recovery point, screw it back in, a bit of playing about. And when you're panicking trying to get a vehicle recovered quickly and without getting water ingress into your vehicle, you don't want to be playing around too long. So they get these made up. There's a few on the market, obviously, from other brands. A lot of them are imported. As I said, these are made by Drifter. You can lengthen them quite quickly as well so that in the, in the case of trying to find a recovery point, instead of trying to hook it on with minimal room, that simply pulls up straight through and away you go there's your recovery point now soft shackle and away you go you can winch off that snatch whatever you like so 
really good and they're super lightweight the big advantage with all of these products is compared to traditional winch ropes where you've got a lot of weight because it is steel cable these are all lightweight you can throw them in the back of your car camper trailer any storage bin in the car and you're not carrying excess weight and they also float in water which is another big advantage if you throw a snatch strap to a vehicle that's in the water and it's on a traditional metal cable it'll obviously sink to the bottom and then you've got to try and pull it out find it etc these you can throw that out on the end of your snatch strap and that'll actually float on water so really Really good super lightweight and quick but I'll put the details below a link to drifter with pricing now this one here is a 14 ton soft shackle that's a bright orange same thing simply pull that slack out there you go round your recovery point round your winch whatever you like away you go they've also put on this marine carpet sewn on so that's again another unique thing with the drifter products they put that on there to minimize that rope rubbing on rocks or any sharp edges on your toe points etc your recovery points that just helps to maintain the life of the rope and stops it cutting. All of these synthetic ropes can be repaired. There's a bit of an art to it. There's other videos on YouTube. Seek Adventure did one where he recovered out in the bush and it snapped and he showed how to repair it. There's a trick to it, but I won't go into it on this video. But yeah, they are super easy, lightweight, great to use. And also on the back of the label is actually their test sheet, which shows what sort of weight and everything they take as well. Test note. So that's pretty cool if you, you know, need to know the technical ins and outs of it that's all on there and we've got again a 14 ton orange bridle again made by drifter that's rated for 14 ton for medium 4x4s made for recovery purposes comes with the sleeve included as well again so that it stops your rope from fraying and getting torn so nice bright colors can't lose those in the bush or in the back of your car and then last but not least is the big boy now this is a 9 meter 22 mil that's a beast of a thing. That's obviously a snatch strap. So it comes with a little Velcro bit around it to hold it together. And simply pull that out, aisle at either end. I'll just hook that back around there. I won't pull it right out, but you can see there, it's got the, the eyelet sewn into the end of it and the Velcro is sewn on, so you don't lose that little Velcro strap for when it comes time to pack them up after your recovery. That just pulls around there like so. But yeah, nice black, Black and orange, good colour combo for those that want to accessorise and have a pretty cool looking thing in the back of the car. Now there's two kits available, one's the standard kit which on the website are around $649 and then they do a medium kit which is $799. I'll put links below to the Drifter website so you can see the difference in the two kits. Not a hell of a lot of money if you're doing a lot of winching all the time and you, especially remote touring where you might get stuck in a position that you can't get out of and you need to winch, you want the right gear. Really good kit as I said in the bag. Oh lot back in there, back away in the four wheel drive. I will double check exactly what's in the kit as well and I'll put below in the description whether this is the standard kit or the, or the medium kit. So there you go guys, there's the Drifter Recovery Kit Bag. Another one for our product spotlight info. I really hope you guys are enjoying these segments. These are all products that I haven't physically used out on the tracks yet, but it's just to help make you aware of what new products are on the market and what may help you with your touring or your four-wheel driving needs. So question, would I buy one of these kits? In all honesty, I wouldn't buy one myself. Why not? because I don't have a winch, I don't do winching, I don't do hardcore off-roading where I'm going to get in the position where I would need a winch. I think I've only ever had the Zook winched out once and that was up a hill because it was just too steep to drive. If I had a winch, if I, my vehicle was set up with a winch, I would definitely grab one for sure. It's a whole kit in a bag, fantastic stuff, Australian made. It represents really good value. You've got the whole kit in the good drifter bag, sturdy as. You can throw that in the back of the four-wheel drive, in your tray, uh, in your drawers, in your camper trailer, etc. Whatever you're driving out there in the bush. As I said, the only reason I wouldn't buy one myself, personally, at this point, is because I don't have a winch and I don't have a vehicle with a winch coming up. Other than that, I'd grab one for sure, definitely. So, 9 out of 10. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I really hope that may help. As I said, all the details will be in the description below. and check out the Drifter website. They're up there in Gloucester. They've got over 110 staff now working at the factory, so sensational. What started years ago, 20 years ago, as a small business, one or two working in the workshop, they've just expanded and they continue to grow because they innovate and bring out new products all the time. And their focus really is on Australian made and keeping jobs local. So if you can support Drifter, by all means, you're doing 
you're doing wonders for the economy and the guys up there at the factory so that's it thanks a lot for watching make sure you hit like and subscribe and we've got plenty more videos coming up in 2021 make sure you hit the notification bell as well so that you know exactly when new content comes up and remember no matter what vehicle you've got just get out and enjoy this beautiful bush of ours we don't have a monster truck lifted lockers winch but we don't need one to get out and enjoy no excuses stress less camp more cheers